Welcome to the solutions for the AP electromagnetism problem set numbers 9 and 12. Let's go ahead and get started with number 9 here. We have a flexible loop shown in the diagram below it has a radius of 12 centimeters, that's R, and is in a magnetic field of strength 0.15 Tesla, so that's the B value. The loop is grasped at points A and B and stretched until its area is nearly zero. If it takes two seconds, I apologize, 0.2 seconds, well that's time, to close the loop, find the magnitude of the average induced EMF in it during this time. All right, we know that the relationship here is that the average induced EMF is going to be equal to negative delta phi over T. So the next question is, is this change in flux caused by a change in the strength of the magnetic field, or is it caused by a change in area? If we read the problem carefully, we can see that the magnetic field is remaining constant, and that's what and that what's changing in this question is the area in which the magnetic field passes through. So our equation becomes negative delta uh, check that negative b times delta a over t. Substituting in our values, negative b. 0.15 change in area final minus initial well, it tells us the final area is nearly zero and the initial area is going to be the area of that circle so pi radius 0.12 meters squared and that happens that change in area happens in a time of 0 0.20 seconds Go ahead and calculate. Pause this video if you need time to do so. And we get an average induced EMF of, I believe, 0 0.034 volts. Alrighty, so nice little introductory problem here on electromagnetic induction. We now change to number 12, which is a very nice problem using Lenz's law. We have a bar magnet positioned near a coil of wire, as shown in the diagram below. What is the net? What is the direction of the current in the resistor when the magnet is moved A to the left, which is what is pictured here? And then we'll talk about B when it's moved to the right. As we discussed with Lenz's law, this uh, departing magnetism here, this magnet is moved away from the solenoid which will induce a current in that coil of wire. That induced current will produce a magnetic field that opposes that departing North Pole. So what opposes a leaving, a departing North Pole? Attraction would oppose that. And so that would be this being a North Pole and that being a south pole. Okay. So if we now hand rule this with the right hand rule, our thumb points at the north pole of our electromagnet and our fingers curl in the direction of the current around the solenoid. Well that's behind the solenoid and around the front, which would be in this direction right here, which means it would travel left to right through the resistor. So the answer is left to right through the resistor. Okay? Alrighty. 
then B, what they do is they now take and move the magnet toward the solenoid. So in B, now we're going to have the magnet approach the solenoid. Okay? So in this question, what opposes an approaching north pole? Repulsion would oppose an, uh, an approaching north pole. And so this would induce a current such that the magnetic field it produces would be north closest to the magnet and south furthest away from the magnet. Once again, we now right hand rule our thumb points at the north pole of the magnetism created and our fingers curl in the direction of the current flow which would be over the front and to the back so over the front and to the back meaning right to left through the resistor. Alrighty, you'll have a couple, uh, actually I think three more problems on your own and we'll, there will be much more to discuss by going over those as well.